The Diary of Sebastian von Danningberg, the Luftwaffe's newest pilot. The 29th and 31st of October 1944. Today is the day. We are falling back from the front lines to our new base north of Munster called Greven. I'm not sure if our retreat is a sign of the squadron's losses or the German war effort as a whole. The remaining squadron aircraft and pilots flew to our new base without any issues and we are now settling in to our new surroundings. On the 30th, the weather prevented any sorties, but on the 31st we have been assigned a new free hunt patrol around Nijmegen. We shall be a considerable distance. We must be cautious to keep our eye on our fuel gauges and limit our dogfighting time. Not something a fighter pilot ever wants to hear. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's October the 31st, Halloween. Let's hope we don't get too many scares today. Uh, we're going up on another free hunt. As you see, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one behind. There you go, eight. And we are flying uh, a patrol south of Nijmegen. So Nijmegen, oh, the brakes just flown past me. Nijmegen is uh, over there somewhere. Probably that town there. Uh, so yeah, we're doing a patrol round south of Nijmegen and around, and then coming around over the top, heading back to our new base. Um, low cloud today. Hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. I'm actually dropping. <coughs> excuse me. I'm dropping back from the flight. Let me. Uh... Oh, where's he off? What's he spotted? I can't see anything with this cloud, but they're turning. Maybe that's just a turn. Um, nothing of. No, hang on. What's going on there? What can they see that I cannot? I'll go with them. Powering up. Going into the clouds. So they maybe I see something in the clouds that I can't. It's going really high. Oh, hello. Possibly Spitfires descending on us. Yeah, I had no chance of seeing that. Alright, there he is. Tracking him. We can stay in this. See the black s s exhaust smoke coming off that. It's probably a 190. That's following round. Looks like a spit. I said that last time. And it was a typhoon. Although, to be fair, there were spits there as well. Oh, it's Tempest, I think, pardon, not typhoon. Oh, I think he just got hit by anti-aircraft, or maybe uh, the 190 in front of me. Well, yeah, it's the 190 in front of me. We'll um, continue to fly cover. Good hits. Oh. I'm closing in a little bit too fast. Let me just go up. Check our tail. We're clear. He's got him. Good kill, good kill. Yeah, 
two 190s over here. Alright, let's try and pick a target out of these. Oh, good hits. I'm hoping that's a 190 on the tail of the Spitfire. Oh, that looks like a Spitfire actually. Diving down on that one. No, that's a 190, isn't it? That's a Spitfire going in. Well done. Okay, we're bringing the um, A game today. That's really good to see. Okay, we got another 190 after that aircraft, do we? Nope. Tail is clear for the moment. I've lost him in the sun. There he is. Bring, bring this back into that group. Right, there we go. On his tail, a bit far away at the moment. If we can try and close up, it'd be great. He's diving down. Is he trying to fake us out? No, he's going down. That's, uh, well, diving down. Following him. Gave our position away there, sillily. I don't know if we can continue that. Try to kill all our speed and then which he's doing and we're going coming to stalling speed now so let's there we go stalling speed 300 kilometers an hour in the turn that's our stalling speed yeah, just outperforming us unfortunately I can't get up there Maybe we can just climb up and try and don't jump on the group. Looks like another spit going down. The um, the rest of the flight are doing fantastically. I'm not really involved in this. Ah, here we go. There they are. We lost. We're going in and out of the cloud and in and out of the sun. It's making it virtually impossible for me to, to, to follow them. Who's that down below? Oh! There's one. Throttle. Oh, wingtip's been hit.
Okay, we got two aircraft over there, three aircraft over there, one of them, four aircraft over there. One of them's got to be a Spitfire. I'm not quite sure which. I think it's this lead one here, isn't it? We got huge amounts of drag from that damage. If I let go of the stick, the um, we're just getting dragged over that way. So yeah. Okay, looks like the end of that Spitfire. Glorious to see, boys. So, that's a 190 as well. I've got one coming on my tail. I wonder if that is. He's ignored two 190s, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, yeah, that's, that's an enemy, isn't it? Yep. Slowing down, bringing him in. I'll hit the brakes, you'll go right by. Can't control the aircraft, but there we go. Kind of worked. It's so difficult to control this. Oh, they got him. Well done, boys. Yeah, my aircraft is pretty much shot now. Give, a, give him a burst just to show my displeasure. Yeah, yeah, my aircraft is, you know, that's, without the stick, yeah, it's in bad shape. To 190. I'll stick on the tail of this 190, see where he's going. See, there's somebody in there. I think it's this guy here. No, that's a 190. It's got the guy in front who I can't see, thanks to the canopy. Can't see a thing. Okay, there's still two aircraft battling over there. I'm going to see if I can lend some assistance. I don't know what I help I can do. I'm going into the clouds, so absolutely none. Let's get below the clouds so I can at least see what's happening. And they just appeared. Yep, wonderful. Can't see a thing. Very frustrating day indeed. But right. ah, Spitfire going down by looks of it. Yeah, he's going in. Good, right. I think it's time that I got out of here. The rest of the flight seems to be okay. Let's um, try and get this uh, wounded beast back home.
And I think that is an enemy airfield there. Well then, uh, we're out of fuel. We must be leaking fuel without our realising it. And um, yeah, we're just well, heading home. And uh, thankfully, we've uh, managed to get out. Catch that the last second. I think we're on the friendly uh, side. So yeah, we'll have to a bit of a long walk home, I'm afraid. So confirmation after 45 minutes and one second of pure frustration, uh, we came away with zero to show for it and we've also lost our aircraft. Not a great day, but it's not the end of the world. Thankfully, we were able to survive and we uh, crash landed on friendly side. So we were able to make it back to base. Um, sadly, though, Ulrich, our flight lead, was, uh, was killed. He managed to kill uh, one aircraft but was shot down and killed. Um, Gerd um, shot down two aircraft and he was able to return to base okay. Christoph again shot down two aircraft was okay. Alfred, unfortunately we lost Alfred. He was shot down and uh, nothing to show for it. Julius, um, he crashed his aircraft. Maybe that was a forced landing, um, but he did indeed secure a kill as well. Um, Fridolin, Fridolin, uh, he also managed to score a kill. Um, so did Burnt, he managed to secure a kill. So the only one who didn't manage to get a kill was me, Sebastian von Tanningberg. Uh, and I managed to wreck my aircraft at the same time. Obviously, Alfred didn't get a kill, but um, we're not sure when he was actually killed, so he might have been killed first off. So um, the good news is. Christoph was awarded the Iron Cross first class. Friedelind, Friedelind, sorry, got the Iron Cross second class, and Bernd, Bernard got the uh, first class Iron Cross as well, and Ulrich got the posthumous Iron Cross second class. Uh, if we come onto the map, you see how far back we are from the front line now. So we've got a hell of a journey, flying to any sort of combat patrol and flying back. So yeah, it's no wonder we ran out of pet petrol really. Uh, with any with the slightest bit of damage when we're not um, aircraft was not performing anywhere near where it should. Heading into the squadron room though, um, it's looking a little obviously two more sadly lost. Oh my goodness, that leaves us um, just seven fit pilots. That's um, that's worrying, isn't it? But we've got 125 aircraft to the squadron's name. 64 vehicles, 23 railroads, 61 heavy weapons, 45 buildings, 16 marine. Uh, and we're stuck on 30 kills. So it's not a bad place to be stuck at. Um, look at this. Christoph, four kills in only two hours of flight time. That is incredible. Um, and these guys, the rookies here, two and three hours respectively. And uh, they've got one or two kills between them. Um, Ulrich and Alfred. Alfred. Um, they were quite inexperienced pilots, so um, yeah, that's that's a bit of a loss. But um, they seem to be good. What we've got left seems to be, you know, reasonably good. Although well, these guys, look at the uh, the hours these guys have flown, and very few air 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 targets. So they must have been. I don't know what they were doing. They got quite a few missions under their belt. You know, plenty of hours. So yeah, that's, that's a bit a bit slow going on their behalf, but. We've survived. We're going to make November 1944, which is by no means no small feat. And we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.